either way. Cubs bounced last night after having two cracks at home to advance into the actual postseason. Red Sox get their LDS underway on Friday. Yankees A's play tonight, so who would I rather see if I'm the Red Sox in the division series? If I'm the Red Sox, I'd rather see the A's. I personally 100% unequivocally want to see the Yankees. Look, the A's would be an easier team to beat. The Red Sox are 2-4 and four against them this season, but they're still an easier team to beat. I'm not going to pick Moneyball over Dave Dombrowski and his high-priced stars. And that book was kind of boring. I'll still always take firepower and superstars over analytical efficiency. Don't get me wrong, the A's are a really good team. I respect them. But I just think the Yankees pose a bigger threat. And I think it's also harder as the favorite to go up against a team that knows you really well and a team that's very comfortable playing you. The intimidation factor isn't there. Plus, the Yankees still have a lot of right-handed thump in the middle of the lineup, and the Red Sox best starting pitchers are lefties. Red Sox were 10-9 and nine against the Yankees this year. I don't love that. I don't want to see Oakland at all. I want to see four or five games against their most heated rival. I want to see a series against the Yankees. And what an unbelievable scene that would be tonight in New York if the Yankees somehow lose because of what else is going on around that city in terms of professional sports. The Jets suck, the Nets suck, the Mets suck, the Giants aren't any good, the Rangers are going to be rebuilding, the Islanders, who cares, and the Knicks probably will blow. And speaking of basketball, the Boston Celtics didn't look great in their preseason loss last night to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Brad Stevens especially hard his team, kind of ripped into them after the game. Stevens said, quote, we're not as good as advertised right now, at least we know that, close quote. Brad Stevens loves manufacturing this narrative. He did it last year during the 27 game win streak or whatever it was, talking about how the team isn't as good as everybody's making them out to be. I mean, it's a good problem to have, but reality is reality. Barring some ridiculous injury situation, the Boston Celtics will be in the NBA Finals, end of discussion. Coach has to do whatever he can to get the best out of his team, I get it, but these are manufactured words. They're not as good as advertised right now? Well, it's the preseason. Hayward hasn't played in a year. The team hasn't been together in months. It's the preseason. They're not going to look great. This team is all about Memorial Day. Also, Mike Reese of ESPN Boston put out an interesting nugget regarding the Patriots and how Rob Gronkowski and Julian Edelman haven't played on the same field together since November of 2016. That spans 31 games heading into Thursday night. That's ridiculous. And when you think about what Josh Gordon could bring from a talent perspective, is there really a better triple threat in the league from a pass-catching standpoint than Rob Gronkowski, Julian Edelman, and Gordon? I mean, that's as dynamic a threesome as you'll find anywhere in the NFL on any team. They just all need to be on the field at the same time. Take your pick. Which was a bigger play in Boston sports history? Vinatieri's kick through the snow that sent that game in the divisional round to overtime against the Raiders? Or Dave Roberts stealing second base in the ninth inning of game four in the 2004 ALCS against the Yankees? In terms of degree of difficulty, I cannot think of a singular play that on the surface was more difficult to execute than a kick with your season on the line through a blizzard with snow on the ground 45 yards. I can't think of a single play under those circumstances in that scenario with those conditions that was more difficult. Maybe the Flutie Hail Mary? But the answer to the question which play was bigger is also the field goal. If he misses the field goal, the season's over. If Dave Roberts doesn't steal second base, the game isn't over. The Red Sox likely don't win, but somebody still could have hit a solo home run. Bill Miller still got a base hit. They could have manufactured something else. The game wasn't over right there. He misses the kick, the game's over. All right, my lock of the day. I'm taking the Yankees tonight. Minus one and a half in the the American League wildcard game against the A's. I don't love the spread, but I gotta go with the Yankees. They're destined to be in the postseason and play the Red Sox. They had 100 wins this year. That's no fluke. They're at home. Severino steps up. The Yankees basket going, and they win this game by more than a run. That's my lock of the day. Have a good one. Well, as you know, I'm not on Snapface and all that, so I don't really get those.